but <laughs> oh, guys, <laughs> evil spirits come in different forms and ways. So, <laughs> guys, please. Uh, not that I want to sound like a broken record or a repeated topic, but after that video I did about the, the FBI, I'm not sure that our people got it. Maybe that was the first time uh, some of them are uh, hearing something negative about the FBI. And that's because the FBI owns, uh, they, the FBI, the people who own the FBI own, own your news. The news you're listening to, each and every one of them, whether Fox or no Fox, Fox News, Rat News, Lion News, all of them are the same. They are all on. Just you may get a couple of one or two individuals that don't go with the establishments, people like uh, Tucker Carlson or uh, this guy, uh, Hilton, the guy that is at the revolution on Fox News every Sunday. What's his name again? What's his name again? Someone Hilton, the one British guy. Apart from uh, those people, everything you get, okay, maybe Tyros. Apart from the, every other thing you get uh, from Fox News is just BS. It's the same establishment bullshit. Sean Hannity is not going to give you a different opinion than CNN. That his quarrel with uh, all the CNN hosts is just based on, on just ideological ground. Maybe all this, uh, 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 all these Libra, ultra Libra values. That's not the order of the day. Maybe you're just maybe because of same sex uh, or whatever, on um, uh, maybe socialism against uh, the, the, the the feudalism. They are calling capitalism or the fascism. They are calling fasc uh, capitalism. Aside that, all of them are serving the same masters. On wars, they are the same. You, you, you could see how Hannity was mad and angry with Trump when he didn't attack Iran even though the U.S. were violating Iran's airspace. All of them are all owned by the, by the CIA and the FBI. You hear more about the CIA, but not the FBI. Do you know that the FBI is more powerful than the CIA? The CIA gets the information, but the FBI will execute it back in the States. The CIA mission statement says that they will not work, they will not uh, 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 function anywhere within the borders of the USA. Because even before they were formed, the people knew what they would become. Because they, long before now, people knew. In fact, people that lived 100 years ago understood who actually controlled those governments than more than people that live now, or the people that lived to, uh, during the uh, 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 two world wars. So what am I saying? Let's talk about this FBI and who are they even? See, let me repeat it again. If I have to repeat it 20 times or 30 times, I would. Just to make sure I get everything clearer. Those guys, anyone caught there should face the music. That's sweet. That's sweet. Anyone caught there should face the music. But what I don't support is, uh, go check on Google, on Google News. A very good friend of mine sent me something on Google News. I want to show you the first thing on the Google News, on her Google uh, this in page. Hold on. I think maybe that's uh, because uh, her, her Google uh, this thing is uh, connected uh, uh, to Nigeria, and this thing. The, 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 I think she's using Google Nigeria. The thing trending on Google in Nigeria is this. Watch. Nigeria, this is what's trending. Guess what? Nigerians who are all victims of, of the continuous uh, 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 occupation of Africa by the Western corporations and their military. 
would leave those things and be talking about the tribes of those people. They named 80. Get, guess how much, how many people they have? 11. 11. The other ones were just names, and when you hear indictment, an indictment doesn't mean that the person committed a crime. An indictment means, means accusation. You can indict anyone. The way I'm sitting down now, how many people do you think have indicted me on Facebook? We've not waited to hear the whole story and everything. The first person they mentioned is Invicus, that guy. You know, all this night, I keep telling them. You, you keep calling all these market men money misroad. How is their money money misroad? These guys are traveling abroad to buy their goods and sell. Then they make money, call the money misroad. The real money misroad are, are, are these uh, Yahoo guys. That the real money misroad. Why would you leave your, why would you be doing an illegal business and you allow yourself to appear on Forbes? What do you think, how do you think those people are viewing you? Huh? Do you know that as a rich, as, as, as a wealthy black man, that, that, that porter that carries your bag when you, when you check into a, a five-star hotel is not happy that a black man, he's carrying the bag of a black man, are you okay? Even the ones, the, the chefwas, or the valets, that valet your cars when you want to park in all these uh, expensive hotels, maybe you, you carry your Rolls Royce. You think those ones are happy? Now imagine the ones in the financial sector there. You think the, the what? You think you can exploit? You, you think you can escape escape them? Never, as long as you are using the internet, you can't ex escape them, unless they've not focused on you, or you have to use the old system of writing on papers. Unless that. Why do you think all these billionaires? How many wait? How many billionaires have sent you a text before? Huh? Those of you that are dealing with 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 rich wealthy no, I don't want to say rich wealthy white people. How many times did they call you on phone and tell you anything, or you call them to say something? What did they tell you? Come to the office. Even when they want to talk to you, they will tell you to come to the office because they understand the challenge. Now the idiot, you appeared on Forbes. Meanwhile, you are still doing your illegal business. You tell them, eh, my phone, my phone is this, my phone is that. Who told you? The person that sold you that security on the phone has a back door to it. And the face probably, probably has that back door, back key. I don't want to dwell on that. Let them go and face their music. All my life, I've never, I've never eaten a, a cent of Yahoo money. I've not. If I'm near where they are sharing the money, would I partake? I partake. Eighty percent? Yes. I will see. Or connect me to this person. Would I do that? Probably depending on the amount and the nature of the job. If it's individual something or that, I will man, you will see me there. But all this one, bank hacking a bank and all the and you want me to do or stop it for what? But that let's leave that, that aside. Let's talk about this FBI. For those of you that you see FBI in the movies, most of you the only thing you know about the FBI is that you see them on the movies and you're hearing about them in the news. You've not even done a single research about that FBI. Let us go deep down. Let's go into a little deep diving into FBI. You people know about Martin Luther King. 
Hey, white people killed him. Which white people killed him? It was the FBI. Go and check Martin Luther's Martin Luther King's rally before his death. Go there at a point, at some point, in some places, white people are outnumber black people. The real classical liberals, not all these uh, bastards that are calling themselves liberals now. When liberalism was liberalism, not all this nonsense of uh, uh, multiple genders. You can now identify as anything. Some people are now identifying as uh, as birds, as dogs, cat people, cat lady, cat boy. This and that. People tell you they, they identify as a balloon. And my pronouns are Z, Z, D, I. They now, they now want you people to stop uh, using babies. That is babies. That baby don't know the gender of the baby, what the baby will say. Look down at the center of the of the baby, at the middle. Right there you see the gender of the baby is there. Clearly written. Transgenderism or that. That was that that's the liberals of today. they they don't know what they are doing. But when you talk about the classic liberals, they were following Martin Luther King. Then why did they kill him? They are telling you stories about his uh, speech. I have a dream. What about the speech he was to make before they killed him? When he said he was going to march to Washington. That he has now realized that his dream is now a nightmare. He woke up from the dream and they killed him. All those black organizations... They, 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 they destroyed. How did they destroy it? Cointel Pro. That's that thing I wrote there. Cointel Pro. Go and do your research on it. They went, go and check before. Black people, black people, black families have more, there are more black fa In fact, it wasn't even up to like 30 something years ago that it changed. But those days when the Black Panthers and all these things were into real community building, what, what was the percentage or percentage of black kids born out of a, 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 a home where the father and the mother lived together? What was the percentage? What was the percentage now? You people don't even know how they destroyed black people in America. Now they've destroyed the ones there. Those ones will not be coaching your people that are immigrating to that side. Go and tell uh, 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 the first generation Nigerians born in America that homosexuality is not nice. Just say that it's not natural and see what they will do to you. Because the ones back there have coached them. And they were destroyed by this step FBI. Why do you think they took the uh, 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 Black Panthers out? The only group that survived was the Nation of Islam. Even after the deficient fruit of Islam went out, this and that, uh, this brother, what is his name? The guy with skinny haircut, uh, somebody, Muhammad, what is his name? What is the name of that brother? Someone please remind me. When he left, even Malcolm X. Who do you think killed Malcolm X? Malcolm X had a mentor. At the exact time they killed, they shot Malcolm X was the exact time they killed that guy in Kenya. What about Stokely Carmichael? This is the same FBI that destroyed the black families in America. Destroyed them and put their puppet in LBJ, Lyndon Ben, ben Johnson. Bench Johnson, Lyndon, LBJ, Lyndon Bench Johnson. They put him in and he used social welfare to buy off your people. Still the same old slave mentality. We have to eat from the master's table. Thanks, master. Thanks, master. Why do you... LBJ said what? That he will have those niggas voting Democrats for the next hundred years at least. Guess what? They are still voting liberals. Democrats. They are still voting Democrat this day. How did LBJ get into power? 
because he was complicit in the killing of his boss, JFK. After they removed Nixon from office, Nixon started saying things. Nixon started saying that I will tell you still to, I, will tell, I can tell you, I will bet my bottom dollar that Nixon was murdered. Nixon is not a good man. Believe me, he's not a good man, and I'm not defending him because he's a conservative. No. But at a point, he, he said it in one uh, this thing. He said that uh, uh, he wanted to be president, LBJ wanted to be president, but LBJ wanted it more. When he was being asked about the death of JFK and what he knew, what does that mean? He knows what was going on, but he wasn't part of it. That was why what he was saying there. He knew how they planned everything. It was planned in Texas, in Dallas. Alan Dallas, the former citizen of uh, CIA. His brother Alfonso, Alfonso Dallas. These are the people. Please, let us take this in. I have a series of uh, videos I'm going to show you. Just pay attention to, for you to understand. First of all, let us talk this FBI. Do you know... Uh, uh, who their headquarters is named after? J. Edgar Hoover. Edgar Hoover is just like, like for Nigerians. Let's put it this way: it's just like naming naming the headquarters of Nigerian police. Let's say an any building, advanced building. Just name it after a notorious criminal. That guy was the former director of FBI. And you have to be a satanist. An evil person. You have to be extremely evil and compromised for you to be an FBI boss. Because the mafia will let you lead such, a, such a, an organization if they've not compromised you. Then when you do what they don't want you to do, they'll just show you this thing. Maybe where you're having sex with little children or all that. They'll just show you that and you, you fall in line. Why do you think they killed Ep Epstein? Why do you think Epstein was keeping all those records? You think he was keeping them for what? That black book, what do you think he was keeping it for? Who did he learn it for? from? J. Edgar Hoover, because the mafia, the mafia had something on him, and it was the Jewish mafia had something on him. With that, they were controlling him. Now he learned it from that way, he started controlling the politicians. When he died, what they first did is that they went to his house and went and ransacked everything, gathered everything, rounded everything up, and took them. Because politicians were in that book, people have come up, many FBI agents have come out and openly said that they've seen the book that whoever, who is who, the who is who of America was in that book, just like Jeffrey Epstein. Now Jeffrey Epstein died in, in prison. Somebody six foot three hold on let us check, check this you know someone who is six foot three committed suicide on a bunk bed that is six foot on a six foot bunk bed imagine like you have a bunk bed that is six feet someone like me now will not commit suicide on it meanwhile the guy is a bit taller than me i'm six six one how possible is it now the same FBI that is calling us names, how they've ruled the thing a suicide. Suicide. Let us get into some short clips. I'll be going one video after another. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. But they were they are all short videos. Just follow me. Follow me gradually so you will understand it. I want you to capture everything. Follow me gradually. Hold on. I want to show you something. King, there is only one thing left for you to do. You know what it is. This is an anonymous letter sent by the FBI to Martin Luther. This thing is a letter sent to Martin Luther King by the FBI when they tried to blackmail him that they will expose him uh, as a womanizer, this and that. When it didn't work, 
they start see that was this is just a blackmail letter and when that didn't work they killed him Cointel Pro, focus on that name, Cointel Pro. Please, at your convenient time, go and uh, do this thing. Do it at your convenience. Go and uh, uh, research this thing, Cointel Pro. Research this. Maybe it will help you understand the people we are dealing with. This is Stokely Carmichael. This is the guy I'm, I, I, I was uh, telling you people. I mean, he was on Face the Nation. This Face the Nation now. Watch it. Now, how many black activists would they put on this thing? You see, now you see why they are putting people like Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, before the camera. They will never put anyone in this form before the camera. Go and look at the name again, Stokely Carmichael. He later changed it to an African name. Go and watch his speeches. Go and listen to his speeches on audio, on video, everything. And the other one is Malcolm X. Expose, disrupt, dis disrupt, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize. This is exactly the thing they did to the Black Panther. The Black Panther's party. This is exactly the, the exact thing they survived. They, 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 they suffered. Ask yourself, the old rap music. Go and watch straight out of straight out of Compton. Go and listen to the lyrics of the old rap songs and listen to it now it's the same program the same people same thing now these are the people i <laughs> hey, man okay the possible threats against the existing order the program was exposed in 1971 when a group of activists stole documents from an fbi office on the night of the muhammad ali joe frazier fight and leaked them to the press today cointel pro is something as the darkest FBI program. This is the guy, J. Hoover. The FBI headquarters is named after this crook. This mob boss. These people are the people that destroyed. You can. There is no other people responsible for the destruction of the black families in America than this group. Before Cointel Pro, do you know that all these businesses that Mexicans and Koreans are running now used to be run by black people? Do you know that? Have you heard about the Black Wall Street? In Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go and do that research and you understand the people we are dealing with. Let me get another video. I want to follow this in one after the other, one step at a time. Hold on. Now, I have uh, before me the video of FBI. Working alongside the uh, Bush, Bush Jr., the dump Bush. Working with him to sell the war of Iraq to the American people. And they sold them that war on the basis of a lie. They knew there was no weapon of mass destruction, and yet they would lie to the people. Went there and destroyed the country. Let me tell you people why you are hearing all this fight against Trump. Donald Trump on the campaign stage stood on the podium and told them that they knew there were no weapons there and they, uh, they went in there. Now they are bogged down in a war they can't even get out of. That was where all these nonsense stories were about Russia and Trump. That was why they instigated it. 
and you keep hearing news that he's racist, this, this, that. Ask yourself, how many of those politicians had more black friends than Donald Trump before he went into government? Go and check the new, the, the new latest New York Times uh, piece that was exposed. They are devoting multi-billion dollar companies to selling you Trump is a racist listen. It is these people there he's fighting against. When you talk about the deep state, is the FBI, is the CIA. They are working for the people that owns the US Federal Reserve, the people that print the US currency. So the FBI is a part in is is the is is is, is, is the top of the secret hands that control the wealth and resources of the whole universe. Let's go to that uh, Iraq weapon of my discussion. Where do we see things? Hold on. Just listen to what this guy showed to us. I bought it then. I bought it. Thieves. All right, good morning. We just finished a bicameral conference with the President of the United States. It was a very upbeat meeting. He talked about time to take the training wheels off. The Iraqi people uh, have been in training, and now it's time for them to take the bike and go forward. Imagine. Pushing the war. Rumsfeld. Donna Rumsfeld. All these men you are seeing, all these men you are seeing, they are being bought and paid for by the defense contractors. Each and every one of them you see here. If it's not Raytheon, it is Boeing. If it's not Boeing, it's Lockheed Martin. These guys, each and every one of them you are seeing here, war profiteers. Kai. Sovereignty of Iraqi people when Iraqi Iraqis already have a president. A situation that needed to be addressed. The criminal prosecutions are going forward. There are six or seven current investigations that are going forward. And Liars. It's perfectly proper in the democracy for us to demonstrate to our Congress under Article One of the Constitution and indeed the world that this is how the United States of America, a democracy, mm. is democracy. Yeah, nothing says nothing says respect for human beings and democracy like invading a country that never invited you. It doesn't get more democratic than that. Idiot. Kai. Now you see the FBI director. This is Robert Mueller. Mind you, this is 2003. He was the FBI this and then. This is Robert Mueller. The same one they gave, they gave the rubbish Russian collusion, delusion to handle. That shit show. This is the same Robert Mueller. Then he was the FBI director. These are the people we are supposed to be listening to. Listen, sold a war that has killed millions of people and drove millions from their countries just so your oil companies can steal their oil. That is... Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are. Uh, we have conducted an investigation uh, to determine whether or not any of our agents uh, in Iraq uh, was were aware. Uh -uh. What happened? I uh, I went and pressed next. Sorry, guys. I'm coming. 
Hold on. Sorry, I have that many windows open. Guys, hold on, please. In that place, they were asking him questions about if he has the knowledge, if he had the knowledge of uh, U.S. Uh, uh, troops abusing uh, prisoners in Iraq. Then he said, that, no, there was nothing like that. Guess what? WikiLeaks exposed everything, showed the video, showed the tapes, and all that. Now you know why they are handing uh, Julian Assange, saying that he works, he, he works for Russia. Is this thing because he exposed this guy to be a liar? You can't even look the person he was talking to in the eyes. That's how you know he's lying. Imagine. Uh, in the media. And we have interviewed each of the agents that uh, conducted, uh, may have conducted interviews in the... Uh, even the guy he's, he's talking to don't even believe him. D does, does this guy look like he's believing that thing? And that guy can't even make an eye contact. I think that is a uh, Pat Leahy. I think that is Pat Leahy from Wisconsin. This is Pat Leahy, I think. He couldn't even make an eye contact with Leahy. And the guy he's talking to is making him understand that, man, I don't buy your bullshit. FBI director selling war to kill millions of people. Knowing that he, he, he was lying. Nancy Pelosi, leave this one. This one is another another establishment moron. My people, that guy showed that lie that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. But what was the crime Iraq committed? The crime was dumping the US dollar. Not as if they want to use any other currency but the euro. Now they know that Iraq, Iraqi oil is so fast, it's easier to uh, 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 explore than the Saudi Arabian oil. The only one that is easier than it is the Iranian oil. Now you know why they are fighting Iran, because they can't control their resources. An FBI uh, director was just gaslighting the entire people into believing that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. In fact, at, at a time they started tying Saddam with the terrorists of 9-11 because you know what happened in 9-11 we are coming on that we are, we are coming to that 9-11 for you to see after watching this video i want to show you i think it's the second to last video or the last video if i think it's the second next the next uh, second video if you watch it and still see bbc as a news organization that means you are dumb you are just stupid there is no other way to explain it. These guys, what they did in 2001 and 2003, weren't the first. These were the people that planned and they executed the assassination of a U.S. president. In fact, let me tell you, see Donald Trump, if it wasn't for the internet and YouTube, and how easy it is for people to get, into, get access to, they would have killed him during the primaries. He would have gone like Bobby Kennedy. He would have gone a long time. He was during the primaries. They would have just assassinated him. All those things they are doing, his racist is in that, is to check public opinion. If majority of people are saying it, they will just kill him. And people will say, hey, let them kill that racist. And a lot of our black people, dummies, don't even know anything. Dummies. 
Uh, are you living in the USA? Are you living in America? Fuck, fuck you, fuck you. You will live there 100 years without knowing Jack. These are the people that don't even know that the US government don't own the US dollar. Yet he's, he's going to tell you what's happening in the USA because he lives there. Go and check JFK. They will tell you that Lee Harvey Oswald killed him. Wait, oh, from when you, there is a video I want to show you now about the death of uh, uh, JFK. The bullets, they, are, they caught the bullets in flight. Please, I'm not trying to prime you. I'm not priming you. But I want you to, I want to get something into your head before you watch this video. If this is a bullet, if a bullet is hitting someone from here, if a bullet hits you from here, you will fall back like this. If a bullet hits you from here, you will fall forward. That's because of the force in it. It's just like hitting me with, you can't hit me with a bat like this and I will fall forward. No. Watch this video and ask yourself where did these bullets come from? Then I will, I will uh, say something I want to say. Hold on. Hey, my people, please, I want to show something, eh? Okay, let me play it. Presidential visits. Even though it was in a part of the country, Texas, that was not enthusiastic about the president. This was an extremely conservative area. Kennedy was not labeled as a conservative by any stretch of the imagination. And so it was considered that there could be some problems that develop, and we had no threats, no information of the leaders that this would really be a major problem. As the president's motorcade made its way through Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Hill was on a vehicle behind a presidential limousine. And I heard an explosive noise in my right rear to the rear of the motorcade. I saw the president grab his throat. He had, he had already been shot here on the throat. And the throat wound didn't make entry from the back. It made entry from the front. Watch. Hold on. Let's, you will see when the bullet will come. Did you catch it? Did you catch the bullet? See the bullet here. Now, let me reverse a little bit. Just catch the bullet. Focus on the bullet. Just focus on this man's head. Third shot has been fired. Did you get it? Focus on his head. Guys, focus here. Are you seeing it? Do you see it? Let me replay it. Let me replay it. Hold on. Ask yourself where that bullet came from. Okay. Does that bullet look like it came from the front or the back? Something we clearly saw. We saw the bullet hit him on the temple here. Now they are telling you that Lee Harvey Oswald killed him. That he was at the fifth floor of the desert, uh, of Dallas uh, Safety Book Deposit Store in Delhi Plaza. Now Delhi Plaza, that place was behind. The car already passed Delhi Plaza. Now they told him that they shot him from behind. This thing you, what you saw in your, this is, go and check the FBI document. Check the FBI document. I'm not the one telling you that. Check their document according to the U.S. government. Lee Harvey Oswald shot Kennedy and he was uh, arrested. Now before they could bring him to trial, Pen Jack Ruby killed him. 
Someone, an assassin came and killed someone inside a police station. Just how, 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 how phony are these people? An assassin came and killed someone inside the, wait, let me get the, please, let me play this video again. Focus on the bullets, please. I want you, I want you to follow the trajectory of the bullets and decide where it came from. Uh huh. Uh huh. Again. Uh huh. Watch it again. You see? A clear shot. A clear shot from you don't even need to be a good shooter to know where that bullet came from. You see that presidential limousine he was driving in. This thing happened over the weekend. By Monday, they've already washed the car. A crime scene. Who? FBI. FBI, the same people that are telling you how you are evil. Because they, they arrested 11 people. As I'm talking to you, multiple financial crimes are going on. And check the top, top 1,000 big funds moving around. None is going to Nigeria and none of the people doing it are Nigerians. Quote me anywhere. Check how much people lost to internet scam last year, then how much of that money do you think came to Nigeria? Then why are we not hearing the names of those people? But we are supposed to take the words of these liars. These people who are moral superior of no one. They are the people whose words we are supposed to take. And we allow the news to trend because our people are dumb. We are dumb. Wait, the guy that accused of killing this guy. Now, let me tell you the thing. He was working with the CIA. He was a CIA spy. Mind you, in 63, from the 50s, there was a real war, cold war, between the US and the Soviet Union. They even sent him to the Soviet Union as a spy. Do you know that today, they've not released his tax return. Why? They will see who, who was paying him. Now they say he's a communist, angry at uh, JFK. Then they taunt. Go and check the... Lee have your sword. His sister has been saying it. His daughter has been saying it. He was a CIA guy. They used him as a patsy. They can use one of their own as a patsy. In fact, he was not even supposed to come out in the theater. From that theater where they arrested him. If you watch the video as they were arresting him, he was shouting, I am not resisting arrest. I am not resisting arrest. You know why he was shouting that? Because they would kill him and say he was resisting arrest. Wait, let me find the video and show you. Hold on. This is the FBI. I'm getting the video. When they arrested him, he was shouting it. Okay, see where they shot him. See where they shot him inside the police station. And the guy who shot him magically, just magically happens to be a, an FBI agent, Jack Ruby. He's dead. See the guy that shot him immediately inside the police station. This is not a street. This is a police station. Inside the police station, someone killed a suspect that they said shot, killed a president. 
he's supposed to be where you they are guiding him no one should even step close then inside the police station they know he was going to go to the court and he knows everything he oswald was intelligent he was an intelligent uh, officer he walked with the, he, he walks he, he walked with the uh, uh, us this thing that time he he walked he went to cuba and all that watch how they assassinated him shamelessly You see? We're going to bring him down. you got about five minutes to get in position. I picked my spot. I pre-focused my camera. They're stepping into the open. All of a sudden, somebody comes out and you're right. Quickly, two steps. You go fast. Oswald and the police stepped out. Ruby went that way. See what I searched for? Lee, have you also heard I'm not resisting arrest? I didn't see the video. But there is another video. I will go and get it from that's one documentary imagine now when you put about lee have your sword see how they are doing it see the first one cnn cnn bbc just watch 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 they will not just watch what they're doing to you national geography watch are you seeing it are you seeing it these these are fake news fake fake Fake. This video, if you searched for it two years ago, you will see it immediately. Are you seeing? Are you seeing? Okay, wait, let's watch this one. You see? The person they said keep JFK, they couldn't secure him. The most important prisoner in the USA, just like Jeffrey Epstein. The days that followed JFK's assassination were filled with questions. Now, nearly 50 years later, we're learning new answers about Jack Ruby that mm -hmm. gunned down Lee Harvey Oswald. It's a story you'll see only on CBS this morning. Anna Werner is in the basement of the former Dallas Police headquarters. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Charlie, and good morning, Nora. We are here. This is the same basement. Who goes into the police basement if you don't have a clearance? Now, Ruby, of course, was tried for the crime here in Dallas County. And for years, the district attorney's office has been hanging on to the many boxes of evidence from that trial. Now, we've been given an exclusive look at documents unseen for decades. There are boxes upon boxes of documents and artifacts from the Dallas County District Attorney's prosecution of Jack Ruby in 1964. We were allowed exclusive access to comb through those boxes. Among the items here, Ruby's gun holster and the aluminum brass knuckles he carried, along with membership cards from his nightclub, the Carousel Club. Even photo cards of one of his better-known strippers, Jada. Many items have never been seen before. This is a virtual trend. Just watch what they are telling you about Jack Ruby. That Jack Ruby was running uh, this thing, and the FBI were frequenting his this thing. He was using that thing to entrap men. The same thing Jeffrey Epstein was doing. Do you see how they scrub off that video? Wait, let me check it uh, from uh, uh, everything is a rich man's trick. Hold on. That documentary, go and watch it. Everything is a rich man's street, JFK to 9-11. Go and watch it and you know the people we are dealing with. Even, I can't even see that doc. Oh, man. Kai, 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 Kai. Well, let me get you people that, uh, that documentary that will help you. It's three hours documentary, but you will enjoy it. Over three hours. But you will enjoy it. Let me show you how you cite that video. JFK to 9-11. Everything is a rich man's trick. Guys, hold on. Give me time. I want us to follow this thing gradually. After today, you...
Oh, imagine that video is no is nowhere to be okay. See it here, and it's not even from the original person that posted it. Go and watch this documentary. Watch this documentary. Watch it. Go and watch it. You will see how these people are ruling the world. Each and every one of them, the FBI, you cannot be an FBI director if you are not in the pockets of those men I just showed you right now. Go and watch that documentary. Then come back, we'll talk. Come back, we'll talk. Guess where else we saw the FBI do something in this century that is keeping the world in, 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 the, in the current condition it is now? It's 9-11. Who did they push out to go and defend that nonsense? The same Robert Mueller, FBI director. Just, you are trying to tell me that an aeroplane can bring down a tower, a steel building. Have you seen where they are building skyscraper before? Have you seen where they are building a skyscraper? It's concrete and steel. Steel and concrete. Steel and concrete. That's the only thing. Now, a bird, an ordinary bird that is flying, if it hits the nose of a plane, it will fold in. You see this plane you are seeing? If the nose hits a plane, a bird, an ordinary bird, mid-flight, it will fold in. Do you know how many plane crashes uh, uh, bears have caused? Now, the same... What do I, should I call it? The same machine that a bird can destroy mid-air somehow managed to pierce through a skyscraper and you believe that nonsense. And you believe that nonsense. Okay, let's assume that the, uh, uh, the, those buildings were brought down uh, 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 by the plane, which was not possible before then and has never been possible after then. In fact, the firefighters that uh, escaped from that building were telling you that they were hearing explosions. Like we are, you have seen where they are demolishing like stadiums or big buildings. You hear it go pop, 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 and all those things go like this. Uniform, uniform drop. Symmetric. Like this. It will drop because it has no resistance. They are blasting away the pillars. Meanwhile, the security guys that were working on in that building, in the complex, before that event happened said that at night 3 p.m 3 a.m after the janitors the janitors are done working that there are a group of people that will come there and be working at the shaft at all those uh, pillars area they thought they were construction companies and after that thing, they removed all the bomb-sniffing dogs in that building. Imagine removing the bomb-sniffing dogs. Why do you think they removed those bomb-sniffing dogs? Before you call me a conspiracy theorist, start answer answering this question. Start answering all these questions now. Why would you remove dog sniff, bomb-sniffing dogs from such a building? Hmm? Now, all those things that happen, they want you to believe that it's not explosion. That they didn't plant explosives in those buildings. Ask yourself, do you know who was, the, who was in charge of the uh, uh, security in that uh, World Trade Center building? All those, uh, those two twin towers. Do you know who was in charge of the security? The name of the company uh, is, uh, is it a secure com? But the owner is Marvin Bush. Marvin Bush, the brother of the then president of the USA. Marvin Bush. Guess who bought the concession to that building? Larry Silverstein. That Larry Silverstein ensured that that building was, was already old. That wasn't the first attack on it. They've attacked it once in 93. 
where the FBI built a bomb. They told an Egyptian to build a bomb for them that uh, they were using it to set up this thing. They didn't know that. They, and the man was like, if you're using it to do like this, why are you using a, why are you using a real bomb? I can build a fake bomb. They told him, no, build. That was when the man started recording them. It was, he was an Egyptian. Go and check it. You can't get this information from CNN. They won't tell you. They didn't know that the man was recording him because he knew they were going to use him as a fall guy. They understand this game. Now, when that thing happened, the man just released the tape. He showed the tape. He told them that I built the bomb. Who knows what else they have said that the guy has, which he, has, he threatened to expose in case anything happens to him. FBI, the same FBI. This same FBI. Now let's talk about uh, World Trade Center 7 building. Do you know there were three towers that fell that day, but they keep telling you about two. The third one, guess what they say was the cause of it? That it was weakened. First, it was office fire that brought down a skyscraper. Please, even those words that they say that aeroplane did it, that time a plane crashed in Lagos State. In, in a residential area. How many buildings collapsed because of jet fuel? Let's do the, let's do the, the science here. Those of you that are claiming to be engineering students, so say to at what degree does a jet fuel burn? Jet fuel is kerosene. It's kerosene. Now, what a level of heat is needed to melt steel. Kerosene doesn't burn at more than 1,200. Then that day, jet fuel managed to melt steel and collapse a whole building. All those three-story buildings, four-story buildings that those that plane hit that, that time in Lagos, how many of them collapsed? Now they say that office fire was involved too. How many office fires are, have collapsed buildings? Can you ask yourself this question? Now the people that did all this nonsense investigation and brought it to you. Wait, I want to play you the collapse of that WTC7. Hold on. Wait, I want to show you the collapse. Now, NIST, National Institute for Standard and Technology. This is an American company, the, the same idiot that told us that uh, 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 what, uh, this thing, that jet fuel can melt building. Now, imagine, okay, now look at uh, this, this one. Do you see where they say the plane entered? Please, how can a plane enter here completely with the bodies, with the wings? Not even the wings fell apart. Nothing, nothing. Imagine this once now. Now, how can fires here cause this thing to collapse? At uniform conformity. In uniform conformity. I want to get uh, the collapse of that uh, WTC7 completely for you to see it. Imagine, they've scrubbed off all the, everything you are getting here, getting it from mainstream media. You're getting them from mainstream media. Kai. Imagine. Imagine. Now. See WTC7 building. Now, do you see where we went before we could get this thing? Hold on. Watch it. Are you seeing the fire? Are you seeing Papa? Are you see, did you did you catch that? Did you catch the flash? Let me play it again. Did you catch the flash? That's what happens when you want to demolish like a stadium or a giant building. Did you catch the flashes here? 
And the, the way you are seeing them, no one will, will explode. Like the one here wouldn't go off before this one here. If not, there will be a problem. Now it's like this. Just catch the flash. Help me catch the flash. Watch it. <laughs> yeah, and it's going down. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? They said the flash is a fake video. Watch my people. Let me show you what uh, the owner of uh, the thing said. I uh, heard that is something I want to show, show you on this one. The owner of that building, the person that owned that complex, that bought it, before that thing happened, he told them, he, he insured the building against terrorism. <laughs> against terrorism. Specifically against the terrorist attack. Do you know how much he got? I think it was a uh, 3 billion, 3.1 billion dollars they gave to him. Larry Silverstein. 3.1 billion and he was seeing them he said that he, they, were, they were supposed to give i think it was 3.5 he said they should give him 7 billion that those buildings were attacked differently you insured an old building against terrorism and just a couple of months later this thing happened now remember there were jewish people that were called not to come some of them told you that they canceled their appointment because they had appointment with their doctors. Meanwhile, they were seen somewhere else. Where else did we hear this story before? Titanic. One day we'll talk about the HMS Titanic. And I'll tell you the truth about that thing. Forget that movie they were showing you people. See where it starts, the story starts getting interesting now. Before that building collapsed, BBC were broadcasting that a third building had collapsed. All the while the broadcaster was broadcasting it, the building was standing behind her. Show you that they've scripted everything, they've scripted the news, everything. They read it everything before going. Everything was ready. But these people, maybe because they were too fast to break the news or they missed the time. Because like, it's a different time zone between USA and Britain. British people heard about the collapse of the third building before Americans in New York saw the building go down. How? How? You think I'm lying? Let's watch. This, these people, you, if, 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 if you, 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 have, you know just even the smallest thing about the FBI, you wouldn't even, 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 even let these people say anything about anyone. These are the, the, the real terrorists we have in the world. Let me play the video. Watch. See the time. 5 p.m. New York time. Salman Brothers building. And indeed it has. Apparently that's only a few hundred yards away from where the World Trade Center towers. Mm. And it seems that this was not a result of a new attack. It was because the Hold on. result of a new attack. I want to read this thing for you. I want to be reading this thing. said, indeed it, is a, it has collapsed. No, it hasn't collapsed yet. Is he sure? <laughs> How can it be? WTC 7 collapsed at 5.20 p.m. Meanwhile, it was 5 p.m. It was 5 p.m. Hold on. See what, see, look at their Chiron. Look at what they wrote at the Chiron. Terrori terrorism attacks in America. World Trade Center destroyed by hijacked planes. Pentagon heat and burning. <laughs> that Pentagon is another story. Wait. Okay, let's go. And it seems that this was not a result of a new attack. Mm. Because the uh, building had been weakened uh, during... 
because the building has been weakened. How can the building, wait, oh, of all the buildings around, it was that WTC, WTC7 that got weakened. By what happened elsewhere, it's just like telling you that my house, your house will collapse because my own collapsed too. Not earthquake, nothing at all. Weakened by the collapse of another building elsewhere. And the thing did not touch other buildings around. It went and jumped and touched this one. Of <laughs> my people were Kai. Go and use. Go and check the overlay of 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 uh, of that uh, uh, World Trade Center. Uh, uh, World Trade Center. This thing complex. Before go and check the distance and tell me how you believe that nonsense. Watch. Je this Jen Stanley is still working in BBC, reading news for you. This Jen Stanley, wait, when she when she will move, the person that is reporting that a building had collapsed, when she moved, the building was still standing there before her. You will see it. Can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Mm -hmm. I'll only really watch you already. Yes. This is Jen Stanley, <laughs> and she is about to make a fool of herself. Really? She really made a fool of herself. Just watch. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing. Mm. Debris. Mm -hmm. See the building here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. We see behind you. All right. WTC 1 and 2 are gone. And there is a lot of smoke. Wait. See the building she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that, mm -hmm. Yes. The the building is still standing be behind her. The smoke will clear, don't worry. Apart from the emergency workers, that was done by the mayor, Rudy Giuliani, uh, much earlier today uh, because of the course of the dreadful collapse of the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. But uh, New York, very much a city still in chaos. The mm -hmm. phones are not working properly, the subway lines are not working properly. And we know that down there near the World Trade Center, there are three schools. Uh -huh. Well, looky here, below it says the, the, the 47-story Solomon Bros Brothers building, a.k.a. W7, <laughs> has also collapsed. Are you watching it? Just watch the Chiron. Watch the Chiron. Read the Chiron here. Just wait. The smoke will clear. Are being turned into triage centers for emergency treatment. And I know that over in New York, half of the city has been evacuated. What the hell? How is the University statue at the New York Harbor, man? <laughs> How is WT7 near New York Harbor? Mm -hmm. People, listen, if you didn't already know, look at the left shoulder. Look at the left shoulder. Look at the building. Look at the building there. Mm -hmm. Look at the building of, uh, by her left shoulder here. Look at the building she was talking about that has collapsed. <laughs> oh, okay. hey. Can it be? Oh, yes, it is. See the building here. See the building. See the building we are talking about here, please. See the building. Are you seeing it? See the building we are talking about. See the building. 
Now, do you realize that none of this, everything they are giving you in the news, have been written by the deep set? They are just these people you call journalists are just teleprompter readers. They are just reading from the teleprompter. She wasn't there. She had not gone there. She didn't see it happen, but she is reporting that it happened. That is what being too fast because there were a lot of things. Go and research Operation Northwood. We have not even started with them. All. <laughs> By the time we will start, maybe <laughs> they will still take down this account too. Like the other one. This is the FBI. Because a lot of you that are listening to me now or that will listen to me later, the only thing you know about the FBI is what? What you are seeing on the TV. They are the good guys that always come to save the day. It's a bloody lie. It's a bloody lie. It's a bloody lie. Don't buy it. Do not buy what they are selling. Now, the owner of that WTC7. Okay, please. First of all, first of all, let us ask, uh, tell our, ask ourselves why would they destroy that building? Because that was where they stayed and planned all those attacks. Do you know the people that were renting the buildings? The biggest CIA office outside of Langley was there. NSA had they have the office there. They had the office then. They doesn't exist anymore. The FBI had a field office there too. Now Coincidentally, it's just only this building that house that houses all these government uh, 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 bodies that happens to collapse. And somebody want, wants me to believe this. My dear, if you believe that, I have an oceanfront property I will sell you in Sokoto tomorrow at a knockdown price. Very cheap. Now the owner of that building, they were interviewing him and said, how, how, how can an uh, office fire bring that, build, that building? He said, no, that uh, the fire was too much and the, the, the chief of the New York fire department called him and uh, said that uh, the building poses a danger. Then they decided to pull it. Hold on. An average mind will say, hey, yeah, they've admitted to pulling it for those of you that are not architects or engineers pulling a building is what is another term for controlled demolition and in controlled demolition you have to rig the whole places with explosives every floor there must be an explosive at every floor every pillar at every floor all the core beams would have to be wired with explosives and no one will go off a second earlier or a second late later the this is a that that was a 47 uh, story building the one at the 29th floor shouldn't go off first before the one at the 28th floor no it is floor by floor and you have to be an expert, a demolition, a controlled demolition expert to do it. You don't wire a build that such building in three days. It takes months. Go and those of you that have seen where they've demolished the stadiums before, you, if you notice, they'll tell you that they will demolish this stadium so 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 time. Watch all the white when they announce they will demolish it at so 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 date. Go and check it. Nobody will be walking there again. You will just see them cover it. The next thing you see that explode uh, uh, the day they will it will explode. People will gather and come and clap. That is because it takes months to wire a, a, a such a building. Now, are they going to tell us that they knew it was going to happen and wired that building and decided to pull it after this one exploded? Who are they telling this nonsense? Who is buying this nonsense? Who is buying this rubbish? Who 
who is buying let me please hear it from the horse's mouth no pun intended hear it from the horse's mouth This is the guy, Larry Silverstein. That's is that's the name of the guy who owned those buildings. Just imagine, forty-seven story building dropped in seven seconds, in seven seconds, and you are telling me it's not a controlled demolition job. Now the man has admitted that he, it was a controlled demolition job. Now shouldn't the FBI ask him when were the buildings wired? Shouldn't they have asked that question? Yes. Yes. That's the name of the guy, Silverstein uh, Properties. That's the that's the Jewish guy. When you say it, you are called an anti-Semite. Now you now you you see why the whole Jews were called to cancel the appointment. Have you seen it? I want to play it from the beginning again. I won't speak until just pay attention to what he's saying. We decided to pull it. that decision to pull the building the same day. Something that would ordinarily even if at, at, that these people are so fast. They they are so fast in things they did they did that that building should have taken them at least three months to wire. Now, remember what I told you about what the other uh, janitors who were working in the World Trade Center said? That for most people, we are coming to work there in the other buildings after the last workers have left and they will go before the first workers would arrive. And someone is there telling me bullshit. These are the people we are supposed to be, to be listening to. If your president owes himself